Hey guys, this is Dan from Middle Age Maniac, and today I'm going to show you the Buck 110 Folding Hunter. Now, this is the most famous buck knife, buck knife made because when we were all kids and we went to the carnivals, you found the wooden handled with the double brass ended knives. Every kid called that a buck knife, including me. Uh, this is made in America, it is buck steel. Um, very, very nice knife. Uh, we will we will go out and cut some paper with it, but guys, number one, I'm never gonna baton with a folding knife. Number two, I'm not gonna feather with this because this is one of my collector's knives, so I'm not gonna baton or feather with a collector's knife. Uh, but I will shred some paper with it, and I'm gonna guarantee you it's it's nice and sharp. It's gonna go right through that paper. So um, we'll run outside, we'll cut some paper with it, and uh, I'll wrap everything up when I'm done doing that. Okay guys, this is the Buck 110. We're not going to baton or feather with it, but what we will do with it today is the paper test. I would say it's pretty sharp. All right, guys. So as you saw, it cut paper really well. So Buck 110 Folding Hunter. You can get this off Amazon right now for roughly $45. Uh, the pros, that's a beautiful knife, guys. Very, very high brass um, shine. Very, very nice blade. Nice sharp blade, as you saw. Just a beautiful, beautiful knife. Um, nice and thick. Very well put together. Made in USA. Those are all the pros. The cons, it is a little more expensive than some of the knives that you can get, but... You know what guys, when you get USA made buck steel, you're paying for it. You're paying for the name and uh, they used to take these and cut nails with them in half and then do that same paper test. So the reason I'm not going to baton or, or feather or do those tests is because this is part of my collection. Too much, too nice of a knife to be doing that. Too much money. So anyway guys, this is Dan from Middle Age Maniac with the Buck 110 Folding Hunter. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you guys in the next one.